See right in the center of the cave, uh, we got two Honduran Jags. I think uh, there's a Hogo going into the little cave. And that's a green tear. Midas up there. This is about the only time I can uh, record them Saturday mornings because that's the only time there's sunlight. That it, by the time I get home from work, there's only a couple places where the sun hits it. And then uh, usually I feed them. And then when I feed them, you can't see anything because uh, they're just coming up, hitting the water. But right here we got, oh, you can't see them, they're back in the shade. But it would have been a jag. That's a jag that just swam, swam by. But watch. This is what happens when I start to, let me see, get some food. My chair kind of fell right there. Uh. I'm trying to get, sit off to, to in the corner where my shade doesn't uh, come in, but. They are. There goes a the female feste. Like always, the goldfish are the first ones. And when you, when you start seeing the water just get hit, that's usually the everybody else, all my cichlids. Hogo in the bottom. The the first ones to spawn in the in the tank were uh, my five star generals, but uh, the eggs uh, one by one started getting fungus. But all, all the other ones are too small, so I don't think uh, they'll spawn. You know, but right now, I, th I think the female feste is dropping her tube. So I'm not sure. There goes Numbi. Right there. Back in the shade. So this was uh, where my five star generals uh, spawned at, and uh, it, the the spawn was a little bit b bigger the first day I saw it. And uh, but now, as you can see, they're all covered in fungus. So I just pulled it out so that um, she won't spend any more days hovering over them, trying to fan them. And uh, hopefully, the next one will be successful. Alright, this is Anger Management Cichlids. Coming at you live from Central California. The Valley. So if anybody out there is uh, from the Valley and is into cichlids, hit me up. <laughs> 